Choosing a different spot on Labor Day weekend. Man, the cicadas are still out. You hear that? That's crazy, man. You only had the first wave of cicadas, the 17-year cycle. And you think, wow, this is cool there. We're done with that. And then there's the normal, regular cycle. And on top of that, you have killer wasps that come out for the cicadas to put them down. I don't know. I don't know where they came from. That's actually not what I want to talk about. But anyway, I just heard that and was distracted. So I'm choosing a different spot here on Labor Day weekend. I hope you're not laboring on Labor Day weekend. Korea and I had a very late night or short night. We went to bed around 2 o'clock. And we're rem reminded of the days when we were younger where we actually used to do that all the time because we're both night owls. And you think, this is, this is life. This is the way it is. Very creative. Towards uh, the night hours or, you know, in the morning hours doing things. And then the kids come along and everything is different. I mean, you can keep trying you know, doing this, this and, and see where you end up. It's not going to work. So need to make some adjustments. And also in my present work, uh, I, I get up very early. So I turn into a morning person, even though I'm a night owl. So we were wondering, Corinne and I were wondering, maybe once the kids are older, maybe we'll, we'll turn back into a different season, becoming night owls again. Anyway, yesterday's we lived it up. That was beautiful. So there's nothing like it after a, a short night to go for a run over a jog and then uh, think about food and the smell of coffee. So today I made uh, bacon and eggs and, and beans and rösti, which is kind of a hash brown that my sister-in-law brought from Switzerland. So thank you so much, Chris and the kids. They just left yesterday. And we had some rösti. The kids love it. I love it. So I looked at my plate this morning. I was happy. The only thing I didn't have yet is a coffee, but that's coming up. So speaking about coffee, we, we talked about this another time, but I don't know how it is with you. In the morning, I need a coffee. And uh, what happened the other day, actually two days ago, I made a coffee and I left it at home. So you can just imagine how I must have felt getting up. And there's my coffee that's supposed to be with me, but it's not with me. It's at home and I can't turn back. Otherwise, I'm late to work. So I'm like, oh, man, what a day. What a day. This is not good. <laughs> this is not a good start. However, I had an idea because my wife was up. <laughs> my son had his first uh, football or soccer tournament. And so she she was up as well. And the kids were up. So I was like, I, I, I thought about it. Hey, I'm texting her. Maybe she has to pass where I work. And can just drop it off. Maybe. I'm not expecting, but I'm just throwing it out there. And long behold, it actually worked. She had to go in this direction. So Lily brought my coffee. Everybody noticed that was around this area. Man, what kind of guy is this, man? His family at six in the morning brings him coffee. He must do something right. I don't know about that, but I got my coffee. It was beautiful. And I got a hug and a kiss and coffee. And the day was back to normal. And uh, that's about it. It was a beautiful day. And then, you know, of course, my coworkers, we were joking about this, you know, well, or it's a beautiful scenery, getting that coffee from your family, that they would do that. And then somebody said, well, you know, I know how he is without coffee. So you don't want to have that. You don't want to see that without coffee. So better bring him coffee, something like that. I hope that's not the case. But I do like my coffee in the morning. I don't know how about you. But that's not what I want to talk about today. I wanted to, well, I want to talk about coffee. I want to talk about breakfast. And I want to talk about Labor Day. And I want to talk about morning runs. And I want to talk about uh, cicadas, right? It's a lot of stuff to cover. But actually what I'm curious about at the end, summing this up, are you a night, a night owl or are you a morning person? Shoot me, shoot me a comment. Uh, let's hear it. I'm uh, presently, I'm a morning person. Even if I go to bed, like yesterday, I, I went to bed at four. I got up, no, I went to bed at two and I got up at six. It's not working anymore. I can't sleep in and uh, mosquitoes are coming out now as well. So shoot me a text. Tell me if you're a morning person or you're not out. And um, it would be interesting to know. Or are you in a, used to be a night owl, now a morning person, and you're going back to a night owl. That would be interesting for me or for anybody in, in a, you know, transitioning through life, different seasons that we are. Uh, that would be interesting to know. Anyway, I just wanted to throw that out. We'll be curious. That's my perspective. And uh, shoot me a comment. 
I would love to hear from you and uh, have some other things coming up soon. I have another interview or best uh, a conversation I had with my good friend, Patrick Lackermeyer, uh, that was visiting and, and passing through. So I'm going to put this out soon and uh, you will hear from me. All right. And I hope I hear from you before that. Bye bye. Have a great Labor Day weekend and enjoy. Okay. Take, get some rest and some coffee. Bye bye.